World War II, on the sea, Tom Hanks in command. Let's get into it. All right, Greyhound is a movie starring Tom Hanks, directed by Aaron Schneider. And this movie's a big deal for a couple reasons. For one, we got the GOAT, right? Tom Hanks in the movie. One of the GOATs, no questions about it. And it's a big deal for Apple TV Plus because they spent over $70 million to acquire this film. It was a, supposed to be originally a theatrical release, but with everything going on, couldn't happen, obviously, so it's exclusively streaming on Apple TV+. Plus. All right, Tom Hanks is back in command. He is back being the captain. So in this World War II story, he is leading an international convoy of 37 ships across the Atlantic Ocean to deliver thousands of soldiers and a lot of supplies to Allied forces. Along the way, obviously, it wouldn't be a war movie without an opposing side, right? So along the way, German U-boats are all around them. So let's get into the pros and cons of this movie. So the cons first. The cons are there's not much storytelling going on in this film. It's very driven on just the action and it's kind of one dimensional. There's no really character build up. There's no, you, like you really don't know any of the characters. Even Tom Hanks himself, his character, you don't really get much from him. Another con is, you know, when, when I'm thinking about Tom Hanks and I'm thinking about a big movie, and this movie was kind of hyped up a little bit, and it being a war movie and all, that's your chance really to go big. And this film doesn't really do that when it comes to, for instance, there's no way this film even gets in the category for best picture. And that to me is a big letdown because, again, it's Tom Hanks and it's a war movie. So yeah, there's that. That's also a con, I guess. It, it doesn't look the best. It, it, it could have looked a little better. It, it's There's still a lot of cool scenes that go on. And, and again, it doesn't take away from the film where it's like, okay, this is like a bad film. No, it, it doesn't do that. It, it's really just, it could have been epic. So yeah, without there being much storytelling and without there being any really character, Build up, you don't really get connected to anything. Like, yeah, it's, it's, it's really weird. You don't really get connected to any of the characters. You don't get connected to the story almost in a sense because you don't really have any background. You don't really get much from it. And the other con, which I guess you can say, which, which it's gonna be the last one is, I needed to see this on the big screen, honestly. And you know, obviously with COVID and not really being able to go to the movie theater, that wasn't an option. So there's nothing you can really do there. So it's not really a con because it's not their fault. This was supposed to be on the big screen. I mean, it's a war movie, so of course it's gonna be better with crazy sound around you, super dark room, huge screen in front of you. Um, but it wasn't bad watching it from my home. All right, so the pros to this movie. Well, for one, it's thrilling, it's fast paced, and there's a lot of action, a good amount of action. And I think another thing this movie does do well in is it's sort of given that tense feeling. They did a good job of filling the tense up where, where you really felt it, it was kind of intense, it was kind of like, what's going on? Are, are they gonna get through it? Is this gonna happen? Is that gonna happen? So yeah, they did do that well, and I guess you kind of felt that part of it. Um, even though, like I said, you didn't really feel much for the characters and you didn't really feel much for the story. So yeah, again, even though I, I would say this isn't a movie that you can, that really connects you in any way, like it doesn't really grab onto you. It doesn't really do that. So there's no emotion that really grabs onto you. Even like, for, like even when there was a point where, you know, some people died on the, on the ship and they held a little ceremony for him and it wasn't like, it just wasn't your traditional, you know, like where you felt it. It, it, you just didn't, or I mean, I didn't, at least. The only time I really felt something was towards the end, I guess, when, you know, that music's playing and it's like everyone's happy and celebrating. Then you kind of feel something, but throughout the whole movie, you don't, you don't really get that feeling very often. But yeah, again, the movie does do good with the intensity it, it gives because there's even a couple scenes where, you know, these U-boats are shooting torpedoes at them. Even one time where it was from two different angles at the same time, and as soon as the torpedoes let off, you really feel the intensity. It almost feels like you're in the boat with them, which that, that's a big plus, because it, it does make you feel like you are on there with them in that in that little room, and, and, you, and you know, everyone's on edge a little bit. So so I guess what it comes down to for me with this film is it's definitely more entertaining. It's, it's I mean, it's definitely entertaining. People will enjoy the movie. It's definitely entertaining, it's definitely thrilling, it's definitely intense, it has action, there's explosions, there's torpedoes. You know, it's Tom Hanks too, like everyone loves Tom Hanks, but it's not very informative. And I guess, you know, it doesn't have to be, obviously. I normally love to see a, a backstory and have some emotion connected to it and also have action and have it be thrilling and even fast paced. It, it doesn't really give you any of that besides, like I said, the entertainment side, which is still awesome. And it's still a pretty good movie. Um, so yeah, so I think critics are, you know, giving it pretty much like an average review. Nothing that's mind blowing and nothing that's trash either. So, and I would say, I'm gonna do my scores out of 100. Kind of like you see Rotten Tomatoes and Metacritic, it has the, you know. So, for me, this movie will land on a solid 
75. And that's Greyhound 2020 starring Tom Hanks. But that's gonna be it for the review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below if you guys have seen the movie. Comment down below a rating you gave it. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was it just okay? And before you leave, please give this video a big thumbs up. Really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll catch you next time.